Hey everyone, and welcome back to a new video. If you've been tracking the release of Unreal Engine 5.7, you know that the new procedural vegetation editor is a big deal. And with that comes also the stunning Mega Plants assets. Well, I didn't want you to wait to start using them. So, I'm excited to announce that I've updated the PCG Forest Generator to fully support these new assets. These trees are free, they look amazing, and with my latest update, you can now spawn them procedurally without any technical hassle. It's amazing what these assets can do for your environments. If you're wondering where to get them, they are available right now on the FAB marketplace. And yes, they are 100% free. You can just hop onto FAB, claim the entire collection from European Beach to Black Alder and download them straight into your project. So what makes these mega plants so special? Unlike traditional static meshes, these are built for the new procedural vegetation editor. They are fully dynamic, meaning they support the new nanite foliage system for insane performance, and they come rigged for dynamic wind right out of the box. Basically, they look better and run faster than anything we've had before. However, setting them up in a procedural ecosystem can be a bit technical. That's where my update comes in. I've re-engineered the PCG forest generator to natively recognize these new PVE assets. You don't need to worry about configuring the nanite settings or linking the wind logic manually. My tool handles the implementation automatically. You just drag, drop and generate. You can grab the updated tool right now on the Feb Marketplace or via my Gumroad page. If you have already purchased the PCG Forest Generator, this update is 100% free. It's my way of saying thanks for the support. So how does this integration actually work? Uh, let's open up the project and take a look at the new features. So let's dive in. When you have downloaded the updated PCG Forest on Fab or My Gumroad, you will see the same like before. There is not much changed when it comes to the files in the project, but when you select the forest in the outliner and go to the details panel, we have a new feature in vegetation called Mega Plants. But before we can use these new assets, we have to enable some new settings in Unreal. Before we set up the assets, let's take a look at the new Mega Plants on Fab. Go ahead and open the Fab browser. You might see the new assets featured immediately. If not, simply search for Mega Plants. You'll find five new feature packs available for free. For this video, I'm downloading two specific tree packs, but feel free to choose whichever ones you like best. Click Add to Project to download them. Just a quick note, these assets are compatible with the new version on Windows only. Once the files are downloaded, close the Fab browser and you'll see the new assets in your content browser. However, before we can use them, we need to enable a few settings. Go to your project settings, search for Nanite, and enable Nanite Foliage. Unreal will ask us to restart, but hold off on that for just a second. Go to Plugins and search for Vegetation. Look for the Procedural Vegetation Editor. And enable that one as well. Now you are ready to restart Unreal. Okay. When you have restarted Unreal, we can now use the new assets. First, clear the grass assets of the PCG forest to have a better view on the new assets. Open up a tree pack we have just downloaded and drag a skeletal tree asset in your viewport. And here we go, we have a new skeletal tree ready to use. That's looking good, but now how to use them with the PCG forest generator. Let's remove the tree from the viewport and select our forest. Go to the new section, Mega Plants, and you will find two new features, trees and plants. The plants are more a replacement for the bushes, because the Mega Plants assets are now only trees and bushes for the moment. I will update these also for the grass and flowers when these are available. Select the data asset of the trees, and you will notice that nothing happens, because we also have to fill this with skeletal trees. Open up the data asset and insert a skeletal tree. It's the same we do with the other asset, only for this data asset you can only use skeletal trees. Let's drag all the trees in. Once we're done, close the data asset and we can see that the forest is now filled with skeletal trees. You can still use the same settings like before so you can clean up the generated forest and generate a new one. And for changing the assets, you can use the tree settings. Let's change the skeletal trees for now. We can make some more trees. Changing the seed. You can arrange the scaling the way you want and choose for a different rotation.
The slope angle and sync settings are still available and can be used on slopes seen in my other videos. For now let's make a nice dense forest where we can work with for the moment. Let's zoom a little bit and turn on the FPS to see the performance of the new assets. Not only do I have a new asset feature for the trees, but also for bushes or plants like I named it that way. These are the assets for the moment that you can create when using the new procedural vegetation editor. Let's turn on the data assets for the plants or bushes. We open up the data asset and look in the content browser for the skeletal bushes that we have downloaded it from Fab. Drag some bushes into the empty slots and we see that they already appear in the viewport. Close the data asset and let's change the settings of the bushes as well. You can use the same settings to change the bushes in your forest. Let's turn on the tree assets as well and we have skeletal trees and bushes for your forest. Look how smooth they move with the dynamic wind. For the next part let's size up the forest to see what the performance of these new assets are like. I'm going to top view to scale up the spline for making a bigger forest. Let's speed up this process a little. and now generate the forest. And look at that, without calculating, we have a dense forest. And look at the FPS, it's seriously doing well with this many trees. I see that it's calculating, but that's because of the grass assets that are still filled with cones. Let's take a closer look into the trees. When you zoom out, it still looks very good. I don't have the third person character to walk through the forest, so for now I'm flying a little to see the performance. I'm amazed by the performance. Let's remove this forest for now and drag a new blueprint forest in so we have our default scale back. Let's zoom in again. Turn on both, our new skeletal data assets, first the trees and now our bushes. And now we can control the wind. By default, the PVE has a wind blueprint to control the wind of the skeletal trees. I copied this so you can drag it in right away to control some settings for the wind. Drag the BP Global Foliage Actor UE5 in your viewport. It's like a low poly forest icon with a pointer. Look in the details panel for wind strength and let's crank up the numbers for more wind. And right away you can see that there is more wind. Trees are bending. And we have a windy forest. Let's see how it performs when we make a lot of trees. Let's change the settings for the trees. Oh, that was for the bushes. Let's also increase the forest as well. Decrease the bushes, because this is too much. Okay, that's looking better. And let's go back to the wind blueprint. When you select the blueprint, by rotating you can change the wind direction. Isn't that easy? Let's lower the wind strength a little bit. Man, this wind is looks so much better than before. And we can take a look for the other two settings. We have Season Strength, this will change the leaves of your trees more like a fall season. And the health setting will make your leaves look like they are bloomed out. This is also very nice. Just by tweaking some sliders you can change your trees in seconds. By default, these are the only settings to change in the details panel. But in the wind blueprint itself, there are many more settings for tweaking as well. So, you better take a look at those other settings. And of course the other blueprints that came with the forest you can use as well on the new skeletal data assets like the BP Mesh and of course the Path Road. And the PCG Forest WP is also available with these new assets. So there you have it. Skeletal Trees is now available in the PCG Forest and available for download on Fab. Look for the links in the description. Leave your feedback or any questions about my tools or this video in the comments section. And don't miss out on future Unreal Engine content, tips and tool updates and subscribe to the channel of course. Thank you for watching. And until next time, keep shaping those worlds.